How y'all doing today? It's your boy Eat Right Guy and I'm back with another video. And for this video, I wanna talk about all the expenses you can expect while doing a dietetic internship. And I don't think anybody's made a video regarding this. Um, I know in the past, I've always talked about getting into an internship because you need to do that in order to sit for the RD exam. But a lot of people don't know just how expensive a dietetic internship could be and they don't know all the other expenses that can come with an internship so I just wanted to make this video so you to better inform y'all on some of the things that you're gonna have to endure especially if you get accepted into a dietetic internship and I, I'm splitting this video up into four sections first I'm gonna talk about pre internship um, then actually doing the internship post internship and then other miscellaneous fees that you're gonna um, have to deal with. So let's first talk about pre-internship fees. And the first fee is gonna be the D&D Digital Systems Computer Matching Fee. And this is gonna be $50, the D&D Digital Computer um, Matching website. This is where you're gonna submit everything and um, to get matched into a program. So this is where you're gonna do, submit your personal statement, your resume. This is where your references are gonna um, write their reference letters to and this is where they're gonna match you into a program so that's fifty dollars and next it, it kind of goes hand in hand with the uh, D &D, D D digital systems is your dietetic internship application fee and so once you kind of determine how many internships you want to apply to every application is gonna charge you a fee. And I think it's like around 50 to $100 per program. So if you decide that you wanna to apply to two internships, then you're gonna to have to pay that 50 to $100 twice. And so if you do four, you're gonna to have to do that four times. But I think most internships is $50 to apply there. Um, and so that just, it just depends on how many you wanna to apply to. The next fee, would be once you get into an internship, you're gonna have to get immunization. So flu shots, TB tests, maybe hepatitis B shots. And these are pretty much mandatory. I know a lot of people are kind of iffy with the flu shots and things like that, but in order to work in a hospital, most hospitals require that now, especially when you work around pediatrics. And so I know a lot of y'all don't wanna get flu shots, but I'm sorry, you might, you're just gonna have to bite the bullet and get it. it. Just get that flu shot and do the internship. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not worth missing out on the internship just because you don't want to get a flu shot. And the price of that, it kind of varies depending on the kind of health insurance that you have and your health insurance coverage. A lot of health insurance companies cover uh, flu shots and TB testing. So you just may have to pay a small copay. So it's not too expensive. The next is background, check, background checks and drug screenings. And so this is kind of self-explanatory. Um, they're gonna make sure that you're not a convicted felon and you better not fail a drug test because that is a quick way for you to get kicked out of the internship before it even starts. And so yeah, they just kind of wanna make sure that you have a squeaky clean background and the background checks usually cost around $50. Next, you need to have, have health insurance. And so this is required for all dietetic interns. Um, and the prices of health insurance can vary. Uh, usually dietetic interns are usually under the age of 26, so you're probably already covered under your parents. So this may not be an expense that you have to worry about. And last but not least, uh, liability insurance or malpractice insurance. All students are gonna be required to get this. And as a student, it's actually not that <clears throat> expensive. It's around $35 to $50, depending on what company you go with. Um, I think once you're a member of the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics, they actually give you a discount on liability insurance. And this is just to ensure that you don't get sued. <laughs> kind of to cover you. Um, you don't really have to worry about that. I've never heard of a dietetic intern getting sued while doing an internship, but this is just extra insurance just in case that happens so you can be financially protected. All right, and so next we can start, we can talk about 
the fees that you're gonna have to pay for once you're in the dietetic internship. And so the first fee I wanna talk about is probably the most expensive fee that you're gonna be faced with. And this is tuition. And tuition can vary greatly. You have some interns that charge nothing for tuition and the whole internship is free. And this is usually like internships that are military based. I think in San Antonio, they have a, um, an internship through the Air Force where they pay for it. And it comes with, um, let you do your master's degree as well. But it also can go all the way up to $30,000 in tuition. And so, like I said, it varies greatly. Usually the most expensive internships are the ones that are at private schools and the ones that combine a master's degree program. Um, but from what I've seen, most dietetic internships, the tuition ranges from around $8,000 to $12,000. Um, the next expense would be certifications. So during your internship, you may have to get certified in CPR as well as certified in SurfSafe. And this is not always the case, it just depends on the internship. Some hospitals want you to be CPR certified before you start your clinical rotations. And in food service, some food service companies want you to be serve safe. Um, when I did my internship, I didn't have to be CPR certified, and but we did become serve safe certified, but it was already paid for through the internship, probably through our tuition. So like I said, you may not have to do any of these certifications, but it may be required. And that can range from, um, CPR certification can be like around $50, depending on what company you go to. And serve safe is like around $70 for like the textbook and the exam. Next fee is the Academy membership. And so as a student, it's pretty cheap. It's around $58, I think now. I remember it used to be $50, but this is just to be a member of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. It's required by all interns. And then the next fee after that, you may have to join a local dietetic association. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're a student and you live in Baton Rouge doing your internship like I did, I had to be a member of the Baton Rouge Dietetic Association. That was like $25 a year. Um, next is another big expense is Fency. A lot of internships require the interns to attend the Food and Nutrition Conference Expo, which is like the annual conference expo for dietitians. And this can be very expensive depending on what city it's in, um, the hotels, plane tickets and everything. So you can expect to pay around $800 to $1,200 because you have to pay for uh, lodging, so the hotels, and that can be $300 a night. You have to pay your plane tickets, you have to pay your registration fee, you have to buy food there, and any other kind of entertainment, going out to clubs and sightseeing, all that stuff, you gotta calculate all that stuff into it. So going to that expo can be very expensive. Um, next expense are books and pocket guides. So this, Right here can vary a lot um, with the textbooks. Textbooks, especially the MNT ones, are very helpful when preparing for your clinical rotations, just so you can kind of um, read a little bit into different uh, disease states before you get thrown in there and actually have to um, do medical nutrition therapy. And textbooks, we all know are expensive. They, a lot of these textbooks now are like 150 to $200. So I recommend that if you're a student, keep all your nutrition textbooks. Don't be like me and either rent them or sell them because then you may have to rebuy them for the internship. But if you were like me and you sold all your textbooks in undergrad, all you have to do is just go on Amazon and buy older editions of the book that's going to be a lot cheaper. They're the same thing. Whenever companies, textbook companies come out with new editions of the book, they rarely add stuff to it. They may add pictures and stuff, but when it comes to the information, it's usually word for word. So just get the older textbooks. I, when I was an intern, I bought like five of my old textbooks, the older editions, and I've spent like $40 total on all of them. 
Next expense will be clothing for your internship and all internships have a specific dress code. It usually includes a lab coat, which is gonna cost you like $50. You only need one of them. And then you may have to wear either scrubs or you may have to wear like a polo shirt with the internship logo attached to it and maybe like some black slacks. So you may have to buy like four or five um, of those outfits so you won't be washing your clothes every day. And so that could run you around $200 maybe. Um, next would be school supplies. And so this includes like pens, pencils, paper, folders, binders, ink cartridges, and things like that. And in this section, the biggest expense that I had to pay and that I didn't expect to pay was computer ink because you're gonna be making portfolios and you're gonna be doing a lot of printing. And I spent so much money on computer ink, it was ridiculous. I remember for Christmas, I asked my mom, I was just like, the only thing I want for Christmas is computer ink. So it may be beneficial for you to invest in a cheap laser printer that's more ink efficient to where maybe you can, from one ink cartridge, you can print like a thousand pages because ink is not expensive and it does not last long, especially if you're printing in color. All right, and so that's pretty much all of the internship fees while you're in it. So here is the post internship fees. And so the first fee would be RD exam prep resources. And so I looked up the top um, resources and this could be like the Gene Emman Review, Breeders and Associates, RD in a Flash, Visual Veggies, and the Eat Right Prep. And so this can range from $127 to $500 per study material. And a lot of people buy more than one. And there's also different apps and things like that. And so as you can see, you know what I'm saying, it, it's, it, this, just the, the materials to study for the RD exam can easily run you over $500, which is one of the reasons why I provide study guides and practice tests and I created that RD prep group just to kind of help with the cost um, of preparing for the exam. And then you have to pay the fee to take the exam. So the RD exam fee is $200 just to take that exam. All right, and so last but not least, I wanna talk about other fees. And this right here can kind of go into the category of the internship fees. But these right here are monthly fees that you're gonna to have to pay. And the first one I wanna talk about is probably the second um, most expensive fee that you're gonna have to pay for during the internship and this is housing so a lot of people move out of state or um, they go to an internship that's not really driving distance from like their parents house so you're gonna have to get um, an apartment and this can range from maybe six hundred dollars to twelve hundred dollars a month depending on what city you live in and that's just for rent you also have to throw in utilities you have to throw in how much it costs to furnish that apartment, buying TVs, buying appliances, and also like cookware and all the other amenities that you need to move into an apartment. So that's a huge fee for an internship and something you definitely need to consider. I, in my opinion, I think you should look for an internship that's close to your parents' house to where you can move back home just for a year. I know nobody wants to move back in with their parents, but if you can save 10 to 15,000 in that year just by living at home, I think that's very beneficial for you. The next expense will be transportation. And this is car insurance, car note, um, oil changes, gas, and general maintenance on your cars. A lot of your rotations are not gonna be close to where you're doing your internship. It's not uncommon for you to have to drive an hour to an hour and a half to a different rotation site. And you may be going to that rotation site for like four or five weeks. Um, to take a, an example, uh, the internship where I did mine at, at Southern University, um, because they lost a lot of the different uh, rotation sites in the city of Baton Rouge, a lot of their clinical and food service rotations are now in New Orleans. And depending on what part of Baton Rouge you live in, that's like an hour and a half drive in one direction. So 
Think about doing that for six weeks, how much gas you're gonna be spending and just the increased maintenance on your car that you're gonna have. Next, we can talk about food. And so this is self-explanatory. Um, and food costs can vary greatly. It depends on if you're a person that likes to cook your food or if you're a type of person that likes to eat out. A lot of times you're gonna be very busy in an internship, so you may not have the time to cook. So expect to eat out a lot. Um, but a lot of places, a lot of your rotations, you may get discounts on like your lunch and breakfast or you may be able to eat for free. So that can kind of help with the cost of food. And last but not least, the cost of a cell phone. And so this can range from like $40 a month to $100 a month. And some of y'all pay even more than that, especially if you go over on data. This is self-explanatory too. Everybody uses a cell phone for everything. You're not gonna go without a cell phone. So this pretty much sums up all the different expenses that I can come up with when doing an internship. I actually, I actually wrote a blog on my website um, with all this information and I, I give a little, I give a breakdown on each one. So if you want to read that, go ahead and do that. And I hope this video was helpful and y'all have a nice day. And if you're a nutrition student or a dietetic intern and you're concerned about passing the RD exam, feel free to join my Facebook group, RD Exam Prep, which will be down in the description. And this is where you can be part of a community that will answer any questions that you may have, as well as I provided free study guides, notes, and practice exams. And while you're at it, follow me on Instagram at EatRightGuy and visit my website, EatRightGuy.com, where I post weekly blogs on nutrition and dietetics related topics.